Hi, I'm Ziad Ali for Object Oriented Programming and this time we're going to see the basics of typecasting in Java. Typecasting is when you try to assign the value of one primitive data type to another type. Like you assign the value of an integer to double or float to integer or short to byte and similarly. There are two types of casting. One is widening and the other is narrowing. Widening is implicit. You don't have to do anything. It happens automatically because you are converting a smaller type to a larger type. Narrowing must be done manually because narrowing happens when you try to convert a larger type to a smaller type. So before we go into details, we need to know the number of bytes assigned to each Java primitive data type. Here is the list of the eight Java primitive data types. The number of bytes is very important in terms of casting. We see long takes eight bytes, integer four bytes, short two bytes, and byte as the name implies takes one. For floating point, we have float and double. 4 bytes here and 8 bytes here. So, if you are trying to use the value of an integer into long, this is widening casting. This is going to be automatic because integer has only 4 bytes and you're going to use them inside the 8 bytes of the long. However, if you try to change the value or cast the value of a float into a short, this is a narrowing casting and must be done manually. Let's see the first example. In this example, we try to do automatic casting. Why it's automatic? Because simply it's widening casting. We will try to cast the value of an integer k into the value of double c. Integer has 4 bytes and double has 8 bytes. So this is an automatic casting, no need to do anything. K, which is 3, can be easily stored in C, which is going to be 3.0. If you output K here, 3, and C is 3.0, which is the floating point equivalent of 3. So if you are going from smaller to larger, no problem. However, if you are trying to do narrowing casting, then you need to do it manually. In this example, we have double my double 5.67. As you know, double take 8 bytes. Now we have on the left side, we have an integer. If you say integer my integer equals my double, this is not going to work because this is a type mismatch. You must do casting. Casting is you just use the name or the type between parentheses as you see here in this example. Of course, you're going to lose some data because integer cannot store the decimals here. So if you output my double, still 5.67, and my integer now is 5. Casting involves data loss and accuracy depending on which type to which type you are converting. One more thing to notice here, the value of my double is not going to change. It will remain 5.67. In this example, we'll first do widening casting. I have an integer x that is equal to 10, double y. Let's say now y is equal to x. This is going to be done automatically because it's widening casting. So if I output x first, then y, you will see that y is 10.0. Let's run this. x is 10 and y is 10.0. Let's do the opposite now, narrowing casting. Now I have a double, a equals 4.4567. And have an integer b. 
I cannot say integer b is equal to a directly. You will get an error. The error is simply type mismatch because you are trying to do narrowing casting automatically. This is not going to be done automatically. The only way to do it is int. This way you are casting the value of a to an integer and storing the result in the variable b. However, you're going to lose the decimals here. As I said before, casting involves some data loss. Let us output both. First a, second one will be b. The output is a as it is and b is 4. However, casting is not always safe. Let's try, for example, to cast a large number into an integer. This time it might work. However, if b is short, and remember short takes eight, 2 bytes only, I'm casting a to short. I'm not sure if this value can be fit into a short variable because 2 bytes are not enough. The maximum number and the minimum number around 32,000 positive negative when it comes to short. Most probably going to get overflow here. Overflow when you try to fit a huge value into a, a variable of data type that is very small. Let's see the output. Minus 1. Definitely overflow because you cannot store this number into a short. If it was a small value like 1, 2, 3 and you run, there will be safe casting with data loss, no overflow at least. In this quick tutorial, we try to show you how to do quick narrowing and widening casting between Java primitive data types.